So the biggest problem is because of losing coolant going out of the exhaust through the exhaust heat exchange, um, most people will misdiagnose the fourth gen Prius as a failed head gasket, which will happen if you let the coolant level get so low that the engine overheats. But initially, the biggest problem is the catalytic converter. Okay, so what we get here is you have coolant that comes out of the exhaust. Now you probably can't hear it, but um, the muffler is so full of coolant, it actually sounds like a, like a bong that's gurgling. That's where all the coolant went. And it came all the way out there. And it'll finally start burning off and clearing out. So here you have the catalytic converter, this, this, and in it is the exhaust heat exchange system, which uses the coolant. You have an inlet hose and one going up, going back to the engine. So this one's coming from the engine into here, which opens it up. So the coolant actually comes in through here, into there, goes through like a, uh, a heat exchanger, similar to a radiator. So it uses the hot exhaust gases to quickly heat up that coolant. And then it goes back out through that pipe into that hose back to the heater core. So you have heat in the winter time. The problem is because the catalytic converter gets so hot, it gets super hot on the inside. You get this nice cold coolant. It's not actually cold cold, well it is at the beginning, going in into a hot catalytic converter. You're gonna cause some uh, metal fatigue. And so on the inside, the heat exchange actually cracks and starts leaking coolant into here. and out the back of the exhaust. You can either change the entire system, which will be several thousand dollars, because you're also changing the catalytic converter, or you can bypass this hose, which uh, will take away the, um, the exhaust heat exchange, but save you a lot of money. And uh, the only downfall is in the winter time, uh, you might have to drive for a minute or so to finally get your heater working properly. So this is how you're going to bypass the exhaust heat exchange. I already, I already removed the hose clamps or moved them back so you can see. So first you're going to, let me see if I can do this with one hand, disconnect the temp sensor. I'm going to remove this hose, slide it over there out of the way. This hose down here, why don't you bring that back, let's bend this guy out of the way a little bit. This guy, we're going to spin it up like that. I'm gonna turn it upside down. So we're basically switching switching um, orientations. And then this hose is going to be back on that. But this connected back to the bottom of the sensor. I know this is uh, difficult to see, I'm sorry. But I'm trying to do it with one hand. And with a little magic, here's what it's supposed to look like when it's bypassed. Heater hose or heater core hose going into this receptacle. This receptacle is the one that's going back into, let's see if I can get a good angle, this EGR. So, right there, there. I loosened up the, uh, the two zip ties to give more room to this wire so it's not so it's not so tight so the two hoses going down to the catalytic converter the uh, exhaust heat exchange they're just open they're not going to affect it anymore